Welcome to 3 Minute Philosophy. Today's topic is Thomas Hobbes. Hobbes was a British philosopher born in 1588 during the Enlightenment period. Thomas Hobbes believed in the fact that people were all inherently evil. Because of this, people will do whatever they want to get what they want. Thomas Hobbes calls this the natural state. He describes a natural state as a condition that we are in before we are influenced by society. According to Thomas Hobbes, this place is total chaos because people do what benefits them. For example, if our good friend Muhammad Lee made a healthy portion of spaghetti bolognese, people would not mind stealing it because they do not see it as a bad deed. This will then cause Muhammad Lee to get mad and fight to get it back. When Muhammad Lee fights back, the robbers will band together. As a band, they will beat Muhammad, but as soon as they beat him, they will fight amongst themselves over who gets the healthy serving of spaghetti bolognese. This is what Hobbes predicted would happen if there was no absolute monarch in charge. Using this mentality, Hobbes created the idea of the Leviathan. This is the same Leviathan that we used in class, and what uses the idea of the body politic. For those of you who do not know that what the body politic is, shame on you. The body politic is the belief that the king has been given power through the people, and the king physically represents the people. In order to form the body politic, the people need to be united as one. The people need to do this because if they do not consent to the king's power, then the king will just be a figurehead. So really, what the Leviathan is portraying is the commonwealth given consent to the king, and this makes one whole body made of people. According to Hobbes, now that there is a person who has complete control, there is order. This is referring to the fact that since people cannot control their natural inhibitions, there needs to be an authoritative ruler to stop the, those natural inhibitions. Another way of saying this is that people act upon instinct and cannot control how they act, so they need someone to control how they act for them. All this to say that overall Thomas Hobbes thought people were selfish, and this can only be overcome by one person, or king, with the support of the commonwealth. Thank you.